Hello and welcome to what already is episode two of our Team Lotus F1 Manager 24 series. And we are just a few days away now from the second race of the season in Jeddah. But if you haven't checked out episode one, then please do go back and do so. We did a lot of foundation work there. We set up the team, the logo, the car. We got our drivers and staff and obviously that first race of the season. So if you haven't seen that one and you don't want any spoilers, Go back to that one now and then come back to episode two. If you're still here ready for episode two, then as I say, the last one out, we set up the car, we got everything ready and we did that first race in Bahrain and it was as expected. We did finish last, 21st and 22nd in that one. The car is very slow at the moment, worse by quite a margin. So we've got a lot of development work to do and unfortunately for us, we don't have any new designs for this second race, but we will when we get to Melbourne. But as I always say, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. If you do like this content, please do like the video, it really helps out the channel. And please get involved below in the comments. Let's start building a community here on F1 Manager 24 on the Cali Flap channel. Anyway, let's crack on with episode two and start heading towards Jeddah. I mean, we could build a team hub just because the mentality, it does help. And a race simulator because again development or not necessarily Danny Rick Rick Schumacher might get a bit in attractiveness so this will all help if we are looking to attract drivers it does help with mentality mentality is a big one because it's low at the moment for us yeah I think a team hub might be good only 800,000 so let's let's get that in how much is the race simulator 1 million worth doing helipad we're not bothered about uh, mentality as well memorabilia room that's quite cheap as well so let's get some of this on the go let's go uh, let's keep on balance but Tired here, aren't they? I have to put in some rest. Fine, we'll keep with that. You'll keep with that, right? I don't think there's much else we can do until we get into this uh, next race weekend. Uh, new EATR period starts, so that's fine once we get these uh, designs done. We've got 9 days and 12 days, so they will be ready for Australia. But unfortunately, we're going to have to head to Jeddah in the same place. Race targets, 21st or higher again. 21st or higher. ET Gunner, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. 21st or higher, we are finishing last, so it's just, yeah, nothing else we can do about that. But let's jump in to Jeddah and start practice for this one. To be fair, it might be worth us, I wouldn't do this normally either, but it might be worth us uh, simulating all the way to qualifying. Because so, as Danny Ricardo is underway, we'll keep an eye on the sector times. They will go purple to begin with because they're the first two drivers through the sector times. Sector will be coming out shortly. We'll see what we're doing. And Danny Rick does a 33.499, basically a 33.5. And Mick is about three temps off him there. So quite a margin between the two of them there. And second sector, 28-3 for Daniel Ricciardo. 
28-4, so nearly a couple of attempts lost there. So it's about half a second that Mick Schumacher's down on Daniel Ricciardo at the moment. Work to do. And it looks like Daniel Ricciardo will out-qualify Mick Schumacher here. Let's say we're probably going to finish... Well, I'm pretty confident we're finishing 21st and 22nd again in this qualifying session. But it's good to see how they compare as teammates. There's a 29-4 from Ricciardo and a 29-9. For, uh, yeah, Mick Schumacher. So 29-4 for Daniel Ricciardo. 29-9, yeah, for Mick Schumacher. So five temps, basically. Half a second separates them. So quite a poor lap from Schumacher. And we'll forward on. And we're not going to run again. As Ricciardo's gone quicker than uh, K-Mag. I imagine K-Mag got a poor lap out there. But maybe it'll be a little bit tighter in Jeddah. We were two seconds off getting into Q2. That's right, two seconds getting off, getting into Q2 in that first race. Um, so I'm not going to run again. I'd rather save some tyres, but it'd be interesting to see how far off we are in this second race. This with no design work, so it might just be closer field at Jeddah. And uh, as Carrera has a lockup, he's had a really poor happened. start to his career in this now, RB. This, I think, was at turn 13. Had three incidents in that first race. There goes the steering. By that That's point, a big old lockup for him there. Yeah, just be interesting to see the gap this time around. But no design work on the car until we get to Australia, unfortunately. We are out in Q1, but it looks like only by eight tenths this time to Ricardo. About a second, 1.3 seconds to Mick Schumacher. So, only a closer field here in Jeddah. There we go. Confirmation 21st, 22nd. Uh, let's have a look at the Q3 results. So it's back-to-back -back polls for Max Verstappen. Sergio Perez leads. So uh, Max Verstappen leads a 1-2 for Red Bull. Uh, Charles Leclerc in third for Ferrari. Lando Norris fourth. Carlos Sainz will start fifth. Oscar Piastri sixth. George Russell leads a uh, seventh and eighth place for Mercedes with Hamilton in eighth. Lando Alonso ninth. Yuki Tsunoda tenth. As we can see, no real surprises down here. Uh, but once again, we do qualify 21st and 22nd. Uh, but we are a little bit closer. Right, so as we said there, we qualified 21st with Daniel Ricciardo and 22nd with Mick Schumacher. So right at the back of the grid again, we're going to go on split strategies because at the moment, you know, we're just learning the game, starting to get a feel for it. So we may as well, uh, yeah. Yeah experiment and see what's what so we're uh, gonna do two stop with Danny Rick which I think is gonna be the best way to go uh, I like to be on softs at the end actually so what I might do there just flip that around uh, which is putting that on a soft Go for that. Glad to say it's the quickest time. So we're going to go soft, medium, soft for Danny Rick, a two stop. And for Mick Schumacher, we're going to go soft, hard on a one stop. As I say, we'll expect Danny Rick's strategy to be quicker, but we might be able to capitalize with some safety cars and what have you with uh, Mick Schumacher. So uh, we'll split the strategy, see what we can do. Again, fully expecting to finish 21st and 22nd in this one. It's going to be a long old season until we can start to develop this car, but let's get in to the Jeddah Grand Prix. The Here we go then, Max Grand on pole Prix. for the second race in a row. Four lights, five. And held again for quite a and while. And out. off we go. And is Max going to retain this lead? He is indeed. Let's go back to the end of the field and see what our guys are doing. Now, Ricardo trying to make a move here on Guan Yu Zhou. And he does. Gets that done. We do make a gain. Uh, we want to be on aggressive, actually, with Danny Rick. Uh, do the AI still push their tyres straight away? Yes, they do. So they haven't changed that in the game. quite 
fond of our little car, our little livery. Just a shame it's always going to be at the back of the uh, field at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at tyres though, shall we? So, uh, yeah, everyone from Hulkenberg, 12th are down to Mick Schumacher uh, on the softs. And then the first half of the field, a couple of soft runners, but most on mediums. And then Piastri, the only hard tyre runner on the grid. So let's look out for him in this race. See if that works, starting in seventh. And Danny Rick is losing a bit of ground on Arcon, and Joe is trying to make this position back up. Yellow flag, Perez and Charles Leclerc. Oh, we've got a red flag. We have got a red flag. We're going to get a replay of what happened here. Perez in the middle of the road. I don't know if either one or both of these are out. I'm going to get a replay here. Perez, little nudge there on Charles. Ah, oh, and then Charles just loses it into the wall, then collides with Perez. And while all that was happening, the crew in the garage could do nothing but watch on. Both are out. Both Charles Leclerc and Sergio Perez are out after that incident. He shouldn't, as Charles would say. Right, what do we do here? Um, is there much point after one lap? I guess we have used that compound of tyre now, but we're not really going to get those to the end, are we? I mean, we could bolt on a fresh set of softs, I guess, just to extend. Might as well do that with both drivers. But yeah, both Perez and Charles are out of this race then. Not for the first time today. The so, let's go again one lap later. Lights. Max Verstappen on pole again, but Carlos Sainz in second this time. Right As we get underway right again. Away we go. And we are going to better our finish on Bahrain, where we finished uh, 21st and 22nd. As Charles gets a time penalty, I don't think he's going to be too bothered about that. Uh, yeah, we finished 21st and 22nd last time out, but we're at least going to finish 19th and 20th. Got another yellow flag. It's Mick Schumacher who's had a lock-up. But it looks like we haven't cost have him this time round. The brakes couldn't cope. Now they did leave it very late. He's back on the track. I thought he's no, he is. He has dropped off significantly. Only four seconds off the pace. So Mitz had two lockups in the first two races. So you can look out for that going forward. Let's take a there we have it. Six laps in with Ket Joe at here. bay for quite a while. But uh, DRS and Joe is finally past us. And we are running last, but not 21st and 22nd. 19th and 20th now with the Ferrari and Red Bull out of the race. Well, Danny Rick doesn't want to let go of this one. We are still battling with Joe. And we've got that position back. It's nice to battle. It is very nice to battle. We're not expecting this. We'll take it. Back into 18th. We're seven laps in. Just going to have a little bit of a push on fuel with both drivers. Joe's still hounding us, so we're sort of... Doing and throwing between Danny Rick and Joe. 3.9, 3.2 off Ocon, so quite a bit to do to close to these. But we'll see what we can do whether this uh, increase in fuel, pushing on the fuel, uh, helps us at all here. Uh, pit stops. Ah, oh, okay, so this is now throwing the strategy out because of the red flag. So. That's fine. We'll just have to balance what we're doing. Yep, it's good. And we can't edit the strategy now in here, can we? Which is annoying. Nice to see what we were doing, but that's fine. We can manage it. Now Mick was going onto the hards and just standing. We know that Danny Rick was going on the mediums. 
I think that was uh, an aggressive run, maybe standard, but we'll wait and see. Uh, we don't need a pit for a while yet. But the battle continues. Joe is back past us. And up into 18th. And a real little ding dong between uh, Joe and Ricardo in this race. We've got another yellow flag here. Multiple cars involved. Doesn't look like a safety car virtual and or yes, red flag this yes, time. We have. We've had a crash. It what might be Albon. There? Oh, a bit sloppy from Albon. Just running into the back there of, was it Yuki or Correa? It's Correa. So he's had a lot of instance in the first two races, hasn't he? But I think that one's on Albon, who might be getting a penalty there for causing a collision. Wait to see if that comes through. Ricardo's hanging on the back of um, Joe. As our engineer reports that Albon has damage. That'll be on his front wing. See, I think he's just missing an... Yeah, end plate it looks like he's missing. No, nope, he hasn't. He's got both end plates, hasn't he? No, he's got some form of damage, though. Uh, I missed what's just come up there, the investigation. I think there's no penalties uh, given, though, by the looks of it. So he's got away with that. That's Ricardo. Moves his way back past Joe. It is. Alex Albon's involved. Got another in crash. Let's and it's Alex happened. Albon again. And it looks Here like it's Correa again. Turn one. With not much room to move. Oh. And there Stop the cars again. Make These contact. two keep coming together. Now that had the potential to do some real damage. So they are under investigation again. As Verstappen sets the fastest lap of the race. But they've both got damage now. More significant to Albon's car by the looks of things. An under investigation, didn't it? I don't see any penalties again, though. But unfortunately, as with our car, we have now dropped off the pace 13 laps in. We're now three point, well, around about three seconds off show after having that nice little battle. Uh, Mick Schumacher's closed a little bit on Danny Rick, but not too much. 4.5. It's been sitting around five seconds. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we'll just carry on in 1920th. Let's hope there'll be a few more incidents or accidents and maybe some more red flags, safety cars or virtuals, see if we can uh, capitalise on those. Bigger than lap 15, and we are calling Danny Ricardo into the pit lane for his first stop. He's on a two-stopper. We're getting the soft stuff, and we're going to set uh, set. Pro a set of mediums on. As we're right at the end of the pit lane, we are the final tee. And 2.9. Again, we'll take that for now. And we will rejoin in last or 20th out of uh, the 20 last of the runners. Uh, only 20 runners with Sergio Perez and Charlotte Clark out. Um, yeah, so we should be now gaining on Mick because uh, Mick is obviously going for that one stopper. So let's see what happens here. As K-Mag, while we're trying to compare lap, lap times, has had a slow stop. So you never know. Might bring him into Danny Ricardo's uh, window. Looks like to be on the left side of the car, left rear. Difficult from K-Mag. He's not happy with that. Uh, right, let's have a look. Have we got these lap times in now? Wrong one. Lap history. So, Ricardo. Uh, lap 16. That is his personal best time. Um, He did a one on 138.5. Yeah, two and a half seconds quicker than Mick Schumacher now. He's on those uh, fresh mediums. He'll be honing in pretty quickly. Uh... Are these out of the pit lane? They are, so I don't think Ricardo is going to make an impression, is he, on the K-Mag or Sergeant? No, unfortunately not. 
But he may well uh, do the undercut on Joe again. You'd imagine. Right, we've got a safety car now. Oh no. Oh no, it's Mick. No. Oh, Mick is involved. And it looks like Nick Schumacher is going to be out of the race. Oh, and there's going to be a lot of damage on this car. And we haven't got a lot of money. Oh, what has happened, Mick? Oh, no. We need to capitalise with Danny Rick. I think let's just get him in, get him on some hards to go to the end, see if we can make that work. But what has happened to Mick Schumacher? Oh, surely that is Logan Sargent's fault there. Surprised it's not a red flag, to be fair. And for the crew watching on in the garage, that really must have been a hard one to take. Well, I felt that was Logan Sargent in the side of our side side pods there. And taking us out. Sargent has retired as well. Mick Schumacher has oh, retired. So that's going to be a lot of damage to our car. That's going to cost us money. Not what we want to see. I'm not sure that was Mick Schumacher's yeah, fault, though. So we're going to box Ricardo for some hards and go to the end. Um, I just Why is Norris in that armpit? Maybe they've just missed the uh, pit lane. That is now four cars retired from this race. Charles Leclerc, Perez on the first lap and now Logan Sargent and unfortunately Mick Schumacher for us. And we have Daniel Ricciardo in the pits for his second stop, quite close to his uh, first stop. And we're going to do 30 laps on that hard tyre. Safety car is ended. Sainz is leading the race. Lando Norris second, Piastri third. We've got hard, medium, medium, soft hards at the top five. So a bit of a mixture there. Sainz leads them away. And uh, we are good to go for the next 27 laps here. As Lando making a move on Carlos Sainz into turn one. Can't make it stick though. Ricardo already dropping back, although he's closed a bit there. Bottas on the mediums though, so probably will fall away a little bit to begin with. But let's see how we go. We've now got Gasly behind us, who's stopped. And uh, Magson now in the pits as well. So we should jump him as we see Daniel Ricardo moving into 16th. The mighty heights of 16th for Team Lotus. Wow. I'm not expecting this from uh, race two. But of course, that is because four cars are out of the race. And we're now on a slightly offset strategy to the rest. We are unfortunately expecting Gasly and Magson to catch us pretty quickly and get past us. But we've certainly been a little bit more competitive in this one. Uh, Magson's out on the hard slow. So, yeah, he should have the pace on us still. But Gasly will be very quick now on some softs. Uh, still only four seconds off um, Alex Albon. We are going to have to lean off these tyres in a little while. We might just jump too aggressive for now. I've got Hulkenberg in the pits for Haas as well. Is he going to make it out in front of his teammate? Looks like he is. Yeah, quite a margin there. Uh, Norris still leading the race. Uh, Sites three seconds back, setting the fastest lap. So those hards might start to cross over. Uh, Piastri third, Alonso fourth, Verstappen is starting to go quick on those softs. As you can see, he's made some ground up now from ninth up to fifth. Once he's passed Alonso, though, he's got eight seconds to Piastri. Gasly is gaining on us, so 1.6 behind us. But we're only 1.6 behind Joe. And he is going to have to... Is he going to have to stop again? 42%. I think the Salvers are going to stop again. Which this could work out very well for Danny Rick. They're certainly going to have to stop again. Well. Might be on for a good little finish here. So Correa's in the pits now as well. So yeah, this is working out a little bit better for us than I thought. It's a slow stop as well. So this is helping us. Cardo's very slow. Well, that took an age to come off. We don't need to watch a replay. We're on board. 
Honestly, I don't think we can do much more. So Gazzy's just got past us there. That was to be expected because he's on the soft tires, but this strategy might work for us, uh, putting those hards on under the safety car. Hockenberg's got six seconds behind us. Probably is going to gain on us. But we've got a little bit of a margin to these guys now. And as I say, I think these uh, Salvers are going to have to pit again. They are definitely going to have to pit again. As for Sappens now into four, so he's got to find eight seconds on Piastri in 11 laps. Valtteri Bottas is now pitting. We're already past him. As K Mag. Uh, as Hulkenberg, sorry, is getting past us there, unfortunately. Yep. This is my pace. Yeah, that is our pace. So uh, the Hasses are catching us, but we might be able to stay ahead of the Salvers. Yeah, just more grip on those tyres for the Hass and Hulkenberg. Right, so Maxon's six seconds behind us, so he is likely to catch up with us. Will uh, Araya on those mediums potentially bot us on the soft? So he is going to be pacey, though, with 10 laps to go. But yeah, it is still going to be difficult to hold them off. But we have been certainly more competitive. Safety car deployed. Well, now what do we do here? Got to be some softs, hasn't it? Got to be some fresh softs. Looks like it's Lewis Hamilton. Understood. It is indeed. Is it all by himself here? Looks like it is. Oh, just completely lost the back end. Big hit on the back room. Hamilton out then? Looks like he will be. Right, we're going to put on some sauce then. Unfortunately, that's going to work out perfectly for Joe, though. Understood. Hamilton has retired from the race. So we're just getting a replay of him sitting there. Hamilton is out now as well. So that is five cars out of this race. Daniel Ricciardo into the pits then to make that stop to go on to the softs. Unfortunately, Joe, as I say, has benefited from that as well. Uh, Correa and Bottas only just pitted, but Correa's now on those mediums and Magston on the hard, so they could be two cars we might be able to challenge now. Because we're going to follow the safety car around, it looks like here. Uh, but we're up to 17th now, because five cars out of this race. As this safety car heals into the pits. And with six laps to go, seven laps to go, we get back on the way of Max Verstappen leading the way. So we are green flag now. It's when Max decides to go. And he has gone. Looks like Science is challenging uh, Norris. We've got another yellow flag. Oh no, Ricardo okay. spun. Uh, oh, well, that's ruined it, isn't it? What are you doing, now, Daniel Ricciardo? Heading down the straight. We haven't even gone racing at this point, really. And then the car oh. just goes. Lit up the rears. Oh, dear. Well, that's the end of that, I think. Unless, because the pack's so bunched up, we might be able to just catch up quickly. Gap is 2.4. Let's see what we can do across these next few laps. Oh, we've used a lot of battery, but we have enabled Daniel Ricciardo to catch up to Valtteri Bottas. Magnussen has dropped, and so has Correa, so they are coming towards us. There's a chance in these last few laps to get ahead of them. Verstappen still leads. Norris very much on his tail, as is Sainz, as is Piastri. Look at this battle. Sainz looks like he's going to get past Norris. This is mayhem up here. All four of them fighting. Sainz has gone from third to first. Max has gone from first to third. Piastri's gone from fourth to second, I think, there. With three laps to go, Sainz is building a nice little lead. He's got a, three cars behind him with DRS. 
Prince Knights, yeah, he's on fresh softs as well. And good car advantage in those softs. So it's looking good for Carlos Sainz now. As Bottas might be getting the move done on K-Mag, which is good for us. Because it will give us the opportunity to hopefully do the same here. And we really want to do the same on Correa if we can. Gasly has dropped significantly off Correa here. Oh, his, his tyres have gone, that's why. Gasly's tyres have completely gone. Is anyone else in that scenario? No, Hulkenberg may, no, should just survive. But Gasly is going to struggle now. We're past Magnussen there. Now we should be able to take a look here. So here we go. This now is how we got past Magnussen. We're looking at Gasly's tyres there, yeah, but we just went round the outside of K Mag. And that is an official move on merit. Daniel Ricciardo is up to 16th, and it might soon be 15th place. It is indeed. Daniel Ricciardo. Yes, we're celebrating 15th. Of course we are. We are up to 15th now with Daniel Ricciardo. And as I say, on merit. We're ahead of two cars. Look at that. Lovely job. Gasly struggling on those tyres. So Sainz is on the final lap, but Piastri is having a go at him. And it doesn't look like he can hold on to it. Norris and Verstappen are also having a battle still. Stroll, Russell. Oh my god, look at this as well. Stroll, Russell, Sonoda and Alonso all having a battle as well. Uh, we've used all our battery. And we can't quite get up to a Valtteri Bottas. And Gasly is still with us. His tyres are about to go off. So hopefully we can hold on to this. Kind of want to see how it finishes out front. I think we should be safe there now. The 15th place. Norris has dropped off significantly off this battle. So it's going to be Sainz or Piastri. Here we go then. What can Oscar do? It's got to be here, Oscar. Oh... It's going to be a drag to the line. This is going to be close. This is going to be very close. Oh, it's Sainz by 700 for a second. The Astri second, Norris third, seven fourth. What's going on in this and battle? The line it's going to be Russell, it looks like. I don't know, Stroll's thinking about it. Yes, it's Russell, Stroll, Sonoda, Alonso. Then Ocon on Albon. And it looks like we are going to hold on. To a mega 15th place. Wow, expecting to finish 21st or 22nd in this race. And we have finished 15th. It does help the five cars are retired. But of course, we did beat Gasly and Maxson on merit there. So there we go. What a chaotic race in the end. But it's Carlos Sainz that comes out on top. Oscar Piastri second. Nearly, very nearly uh, first place there. Shows actually the final time as two thousandths of a second. So yeah, very close as they went across the line. Both of those up four places. Lando Norris finishes third, final step of the podium, up one place. Max Verstappen will be disappointed, down three. I think that was down to the Red Bull strategy there. Uh, George Russell up two to fifth. Lance Stroll up five places to sixth. Yuki Tsunoda again. Good points again for RB in seventh. Nando Alonso eighth. A great drive from Esteban Ocon up nine places to finish ninth and get two points for Alpine. And Williams also getting their first points of the season. Albon up four, so he finished tenth. It was Oscar Piastri who took the fastest lap. So he takes 19 points over 18. And then, wow, look at it down here. So uh, as I said, we had five cars retiring. Charles Leclerc on the first lap with contact with Sergio Perez. Logan Sargent and then Mick Schumacher came together as well. Both of those out. And then Lewis Hamilton losing the rear. And uh, he was out as well. So only 17 runners out of 22 finish. We finished 15th out of those 22. So officially up six places. And we will... Very much take that indeed with Daniel Ricciardo.
So Drivers' Championship, it gets a little bit tighter after two races. Not Max Verstappen pulling away with it. He's on 37 points, but Carlos Sainz within two points now on 35. Lando Norris on 28. Oscar Piastri on 27. Charles Leclerc still on 18. And Sergio Perez on 15. So that's a big hit in the constructors for both of those not scoring. George Russell, 10 points. Aston Martin's Lance Stroll is in 8th on 9 points. Yuki Tsunoda stays in ninth, gains more points with 8 in total. Fernando Alonso down 2 to 10 points. And we've got Lewis Hamilton in 11th with 6. Esteban Ocon in 12th with 2. And then Albon in 13th with 1. Everyone else is yet to score. And let's look at the constructors. And it's in fact McLaren who lead the way. And that's because they've had their two drivers finish both races. So consistency there. They're on 55 points. It is very tight. Ferrari just two points behind on 53. Red Bull in third, now down two on 52. Uh, as I say, Max's strategy was poor and Perez out of the race costing them. And then a big gap now already forming to Aston Martin in fourth on 17. Mercedes, uh, so Aston Martin actually jumped Mercedes, but there's only a point in it. Mercedes in fifth. RB staying sixth with eight points. Alpine scoring the first points of the season with two in seventh. And the same for Williams gaining their first point move into eighth. Haas, Kicks Alba and Team Lotus ourselves score a point. And that is going to bring this episode to a close. They're actually quite enjoyable at the end. It was a bit of a chaotic race here in Jeddah and also to finish 15th was nice. As I say, I know a lot of that is because we had five cars retire, but we were battling. We took some strategy decisions there that went in our favour and we actually beat Gasly and Magson on merit there. So that was quite nice to see. Uh, which helps because we've got some design work coming before the next race in Australia. So still expecting us to be 21st and 22nd. But hopefully now we'll get in the routine of getting some design work done on the car. Maybe start to challenge these at the bottom, which really straight away is going to be sort of kick Salva and Haas as our first target. So let's see what we can do. As always, if you've made it to the end of this episode and you're not already and you like the episode, please do subscribe to the channel. Do like the video, really does help the channel out. And as always, get involved in the comments. We'll be back very soon with the next episode in our Team Lotus series.